Line. <laughs> so let's talk about dental hygiene. Thermal hygiene. Thermal paste. Thermal paste. All right, so what I got here is some Thermal Grizzly. And I want to compare it to its pasty cousin, toothpaste. But I don't have any toothpaste here, so I got to go get some. <laughs> so what did we end up getting? Crest. Fix it, Dent. My toothpaste. Cinnamon. And more crust not sponsored. So let's see how this stacks up against basically the best thermal paste you can get that isn't made out of metal. Uh, the old Thermal Grizzly. And uh, see if we wasted a bunch of money. Or if we're going to make the shop smell minty fresh. Yeah, cinnamon. Cinnamon. Cinnabench. All right, so let's find out what we got here. What did, what did I buy? What did Gab buy? All right, so we got some sort of cinnamon flavor blast gel. Maybe cinnamon is more thermally conductive. Who knows? We've got my personal favorite, some weird peroxide. Maybe Arm & Hammer is more thermally conductive. Crest Pro Health, because it's a gel, I hope. More Crest Pro Health, although I think this one's actually a paste. So hopefully that'll be a nice difference, paste to gel. And then fix a dent because Gab wanted denture adhesive. It's like a paste or something. I, I don't know. Money on this, it's gonna win. So let's do a quick recap on thermals and why we care about it so much on this channel. So I feel like every other video is stick a cooler to a thing, stick something between the cooler and thing and see if it catches on fire. So the whole thing is that you got the CPU and it's got that little metal, actually, do I have a CPU that I can use? This guy is your CPU with this little heat spreader, and you put a gigantic air cooler on top of it. The problem is that you've got tiny imperfections on both surfaces, so air gets in there. And air is bad at thermal conductivity. So you get a nice paste, and it kind of seals in the gaps, and you end up with some actual thermal transfer. And then the thing with heat is that the hotter your CPU runs, the scarier you get. Everyone freaks out. You know, is my computer going to melt on fire, burn a hole through my desk? Uh, and, you know, longevity of the CPU, boost clock, so you might actually get real performance. Anyone with a laptop knows that you don't. Um, and then, you know, obviously you just want to get your money's worth out of your $100 beast. So then, let's move on to our thermal battle royale. Basically, what we've got here is an old i7-6700K. You know, Skylake, still good, still relevant. And we've clocked this thing to four giga... Gab, what did we clock this to? Four gigahertz, 1.25 volts. We wanted to give it some headroom because that boy gets spicy. So, yeah, four gigahertz or something like that, a little bit under volt. And that way it's locked and there's no boost mechanic going on. The cooler is set to max speed, so it's going to be a straight... Temperature versus temperature versus temperature comparison, and we'll see how it goes. For the actual test parameters, we're doing it simple. We're just going to run, uh, not Cinebench, that's complicated. We're going to go ahead and run Prime95 on small FFTs, which is the nuclear reactor test. We're doing an air cooler here, so I don't have to worry about getting the loop to thermal equilibrium or any of that. Five minutes, blast it, and see what happens. Move on to the next. At the end? We'll see who wins, and if we get a good result, maybe you'll see another video on this nonsense. Literally, just this cam... Uh. I'm stupid with it in, like, the side of the frame. Okay. I just have that nonchalantly in the frame. <laughs> so, we've got Thermal Grizzly here. Let's just fire this up and see how it does with the best of the best. Gab, how do I turn this on? Where's the power switch? Is my computer... I want to rotate that. All right, so we're going to run some benchmarks here and see how it goes. So small FFTs, all threads, all like eight of them. All righty here. CPU package is already at what? 71C? Did you say package? Why? <laughs> we're adults here, damn it. <laughs> Dang it. Yeah, it's probably going to just bounce around. So, you know, about 73, 74 degrees. The magnifier is so insane to look at. 
All right, well, I'm kind of impatient. I know Gab is too. And honestly, I don't, I don't see it doing much more than this. It's, it's going to keep bouncing up and down by a couple of degrees. So let's uh, start trying the, let's start with my boy. What keeps these pearly whites clean? <laughs> <laughs> and see how it goes. If I can get out of the magnifier. No, it feels like such a waste to just keep like blasting away at our thermal grizzly if they don't sponsor us. Yeah, but they sponsored us. Now it's not a waste. Now it's advertising. Um, let's 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 uh, <laughs> consult our gamers nexus <laughs> to thermal based application. Oh yeah, yeah. Mine down the middle. Dot dot dot. I think the nozzle is a little too <laughs> too wide. A little too generous. I really hope this doesn't like screw up anything serious. It's just so much. Yeah, what do you think? Yeah, it looks okay. <laughs> that is, this is gonna stress me out. I'm gonna turn it on and just be like, panic. Just go straight into the BIOS and... Don't, don't die, don't die, don't die. <laughs> is that, oh, wow. Look at that. Go to the BIOS, CPU temperature is 31. Yeah. I'm sorry, Mr. Grizzly. We might have to talk. Please don't break my legs. <laughs> If you don't see me in the next video, it's because Big Grizzly took me down. The bear. <laughs> <laughs> Did they send a literal bear? It's funny because this motherboard, if you overclock it, it'll say overclock what percentage of an overclock you're at. If you underclock it, it's like, no, no, no. <laughs> We're not bragging about that. It's not bad. Wow. I mean, it's idling at full speed, but that's like roughly what you had with the Grizzly. I'm, I, I'm worried. Yeah, we're gonna get to take this video down. Request. This is the I'm suffering we do down. for. We do this for you guys. Oh, oh no. <laughs> yeah, it's getting pretty hot. <laughs> we get to live another day. All right, move on to the next one. Zach, your toothpaste is crap. It's good for teeth. Just go by. Uh, we're doing the fix dent last because I'm worried. I'm worried about that guy. I don't know if I had enough. Oh, it looks pretty good. It's spread out. Yeah, it just kind of, it looks funny when you pull it off. Yeah. It's kind of like, yeah, it's kind of watery. Oh, maybe the first bit had more water in it. Yeah, it should be okay though. Well, something to try out for the next batch. Yeah, maybe. No, oh, the gel won't have that problem. Let's see how many tries I get before I, uh, completely obliterate the poor socket with the toothpaste. Yeah, we're not entirely sure if toothpaste is conductive here. If it was to get down in there, it could be a bad time. <laughs> it smells so minty. <laughs> yeah, probably okay. Again, I can't, my, my, my GN mod mat doesn't tell me how to apply toothpaste. Seems like a pretty hefty oversight if you ask me. Uh, it's a shame we're not doing cinnamon bench. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I see what you did there. Uh, I swear I'm not a dad. <laughs> Let's set. All the cores are loaded. Running at four. No, no throttle. It's a couple degrees cooler. Not a lot, but I mean. All right, Cinnamon uh, takes the lead. Get, get out of here. Let's just set that up. The current, the current champ. Looking all wobbly. Uh, starting to get a little close to the uh, socket there. All right. Next. Time to do the crest of the brothers. It's, is this the actual pace? I mean, we'll find out. It is. It's got this weird, like, color to it. Yes. This is, I'm not looking forward to this one. <laughs> this isn't promising. This. This is a bad sign. That's roughly what the other one did, right? The, the first one? Yeah. yeah. 97. Oh, boy. I'm going to drop mine down. Uh, we're just, we're just running to run R20. Yeah, just run R20. I just want to see what, what the temperatures in, in R20 look like. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can play games with this if you undervolt and underclock. All right, let's see how our paste did. You know, that kind of looks like thermal paste. Yeah, it really does. 
That's what I'm saying. If we let it dry up, it might. Yeah, it is a powerful minty odor. I'm saying if it dries up, it probably is better. <laughs> it's got a cure. This is a real thing, though. Some pastes actually want a cure. All right, let's do the Crest Pro Health with a, a touch of scope gel. Did I actually say that on it? Yeah, with a touch. Oh. <laughs> well, there's no water in here. This is ah. There's toothpaste everywhere. All right, that's that's a different consistency. Let's see if it's a better consistency. All right, let's try it again with the Crest Pro Health Scope Edition. No scope, 420, whatever. <sighs> Maybe Crest just doesn't care about thermal performance. That's unfortunate. I don't know what they're doing over there. All right, let's start it. Send it. Oh, are we gonna outperform your pasty counterpart? Is gel the new paste? I guess. Is it doing better than the champ? Um, I don't know, we'll have to find out. Cause the champ's also a gel. Hmm. Mm. Probably pretty similar. Yeah, no, it, it is 93, 94. I think, I think the champ was like 92, 93. Yeah. Should have wrote that down. Yeah. We have it all on video evidence. True. Just makes it hard to, hard to film an outro. Besides, they all suck. All right, 94, 95, it's gonna be about the same. Won't be doing any no scopes with this. <laughs> all right, let's see how the Crest no scope looks. Eh. Eh. It's just more sticky, I guess. There's like none left on the package. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, it's there. It, there was enough. You're gonna use this board to build someone a PC and they're gonna be like, why does everything smell minty? I won't plan on it, but then they'll make mention of it after the fact and I'll be like, oh uh, yeah. Oh yeah. This is easier to apply, in theory. It's, yeah. like, it's like a P-shape, right? What's it still feel like? I haven't, I'm afraid to touch it. Yeah, it feels like... It feels like paste, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's it? Is it an insulator? <laughs> <laughs> when you boot up the bios and it says 50 C. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Maybe it's not a secret weapon. <laughs> It is. It's a secret weapon sent to us by <laughs> Thermal Grizzly <laughs> to shut us down. Videos taken moments before disaster. <laughs> R slash watch computers die. <laughs> we have our own subreddit now. I mean, don't let your dreams be dreams, my dude. All right. Quick, 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 quick. <laughs> oh, God. Quick, 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 quick. Oh. Oh. oh god, she's th she's gotta be throttling. Oh. <laughs> yeah, she wasn't about to have it. <laughs> oh. oh no. Alright, so yeah. That's that's some bad news right there, boys. Ninety nine. <laughs> is is this a laptop? Alright, so Here's our winning brand by Landslide. Very, very small. Land, landslide, yeah. Um, it is the cheapest, actually, of the group, so that's interesting. Um, so obviously, obviously, the Thermal Grizzly is the champion. It's Even if one of these was better, who knows how long you'd have before it dried out. And Well, actually, it might get better if it dries out, but even then. Um, although the Thermal Grizzly is not better in all regards, I would never brush my teeth with this. Ever. So there we have it. The toothpaste roundup is okay. I mean, this is, this is almost usable. You can game with this and you could kill your computer with this. So, all right guys, thanks for watching. You do the whole like, comment, subscribe, bell thing and, uh, Maybe we'll see you with another video where we kill another CPU. And by another one, I mean this poor guy again. The algorithm says subscribe. <laughs>
back of the floor. 